You're watching the Weekly 150. Everything you need to know about this week at the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office in 150 seconds or less. On Tuesday, we shared the latest findings of the Florida Sheriff's Research Institute on violent repeat drug offenders in the state prison system. The report intended to address a narrative of the state's prison population is largely comprised of low-level nonviolent drug offenders, and the results were eye-opening. Take a look at the full report at flsheriffs.org. Thursday, we hosted a virtual Sheriff's Community Connection meeting on Zoom to discuss our Victim Advocate Program in honor of Victims' Rights Week, which is just around the corner. Participants heard from our dedicated victim advocates and had an opportunity to ask them questions. The Sheriff's Community Connection meets virtually on the second Thursday of each month at noon. Stay tuned to our social media platforms for meeting links and updates. We threw it back to the mid 70s with this staged publicity photo of one of our crime scene techs processing a motorcycle, one of our CSI vans in the background. Back then our crime scene techs didn't have uniforms and the dress code was business professional. Detectives assigned to the Crimes Against Children Unit arrested 24-year-old Jordane Jones after he seriously injured an infant. Jones told detectives he became frustrated when the three-month-old wouldn't stop crying and struck her in the face, causing a large bruise. Jones has been arrested and charged with child abuse. Many criminals target their victims based on their body language. 90% of communication is body language. So whether with friends, family, or even alone, one of the easiest ways to avoid becoming a victim is by being aware of your surroundings. If it doesn't feel right, trust your instincts and always know who's around you. Be alert, be aware. Join us next Saturday, April 17th in Palm Harbor at the Salty Lime Cantina in Thirsty Marlin from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. to raise money for the Magley family. A $25 ticket includes food, soft drinks, live entertainment, and the opportunity to participate in raffles, auctions, and 50-50 drawings. That same day, join us for the Hillsborough versus Pinellas first responders hockey game. The game starts at 4.15 at the Lakeland Ice Arena. Proceeds from the game will benefit the Levine, Magley, and Madsen families. Lastly, next Sunday on April 18th, Help Suncoast Voices for Children stock shelves for our Child Protection Investigation Division. They're looking for diapers, pull-ups, formula, pack and plays, and car seats for all ages. All donations can be dropped off from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at 8550 Omerton Road in Largo. Time's up. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Okay.